Hey everybody, this is Abby with Scrappy Dabby, and I'm back with another haul video. This package here is an amazing package from Marion Smith. She had, I'm saying had because it might be over, I don't know. She was having kind of like a warehouse box sale, 25 bucks per box, and I bought two. Shh, don't tell my husband. And um, what it was full of is products that, um, some of her older collections and lines because she's bringing in new product. And even, even if her stuff was from 2013 or whatever, it is still like fresh today to me because it is just beautiful. So I wanted to show you guys a video before I broke all this apart and put it away. So I'm just going to be going into some giveaways and some racks, which is why I ordered two. So I'm not being a hog. I promise I'm going to be sharing the Mary Smith goodies. So I'm going to do this in two separate videos because there's so much paper and I don't want to make this longer than 15-20 minutes. So I'm just going to show you guys the embellishment packages first and then we'll do the two pads of paper in a separate video just to show you what I'm talking about. This is how much paper is just in one. So let me get these over to the side. And I apologize in advance for the crinkling. I meant to take these out of the packaging first, but I wanted to show you guys how cute they all looked in this clear cellophane. I just love it. I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. So give me just one second while I unpack everything. One down. Okay, sorry about that guys. I know it's probably very annoying. So it doesn't matter that they're mixed together now, but um, these are the two packs I purchased um, from the two kits. I'm assuming if you only ordered one, you would get this much or this much. So um, let's just get right to it. So here are some bits of ephemera, just some envelopes, which obviously you can use for all kinds of purposes. I won't even go into that because you guys are like, duh, we know we're crafters. So here are some more bits of ephemera. This is really cool. Looks like old money. What country? I could not tell you, but this is cool. I don't have anything like this, so I like that for sure. Very happy with that. Um, some punctuation. Looks like, like an old school type of theme. Elocution. Yep. We all could probably use some help with that, especially me since my brain surgery, I tell you. And I'm not even joking. I really did have brain surgery. Anyway, so let's get into the packages here. Oh my gosh, this is just so full of stuff. I'm going to grab a container here. This is one of those stacking clear things with the lid on top I got from Target. I'm going to dump it in here to sort of go over my desk. So that's how cute it is. And it says her name, her little sticker right there, which I'm going to try to preserve because I think it's cute. I'm just going to dump these in here just so it's a little easier to see what is all in this goodie bag. And of course I won't go through every single piece because I'll make this video way too long. So, oh my gosh, look at this. I got a couple of these. These resins. Oh, these are so cute. Look at that little blue bird in there with her little eggs. It's a little flat back resin. That is so stinking cute. And these are like from her junk and gems. These little bits of embellishments here. These goodies which are awesome to use. I'm going to be using these in some shabby chic banners I'm making. Look at this really beautiful resin flower. That's just gorgeous. Um, sorry, I'm trying to find the best hand to do this with. And this really pretty aqua teal, which is her favorite color. So of course there's going to be lots of that in the mix. thought I saw one that was purple. Nope, this is kind of a dusty pink. So you guys can kind of get an idea of what is all in that goodie bag. Just all kinds of really cool embellishments to use. Oh, look at this. Here's a really gorgeous one. Look at that. Just beautiful in here. Just absolutely love it. Here's a really fun sparkly red one. That'd be cute to use for Valentine's or Christmas or something. And I think it's just kind of more of the same in there. So that's what's in that glassine bag. And here are some more of those same flower resins. Just a little bit smaller, like a medium size. So I got four of those. And these are some of the beautiful flowers that she sells, and I've purchased some of her flowers before, the white ones, because I've used them with my, um, uh, let's see if it's from her, yeah, Junk and Gems, that's what I was saying, it's from the Junk and Gems line or collection. Anyway, I bought some of the white ones to use with her Color Lab. If you guys haven't tried that out, you definitely should. And here are just some more of the white resins, beautiful, and love these metal flowers. I have some of these already. They're so fun to create with. There's a couple clothespins and some more smaller, really delicate colored resins there. Really nice. And, oh, this is super cute. Those gears, a hot air balloon. I'm going to zoom the camera in, you guys. My arm is, like, dying trying to hold all this up. I'm sorry, it's, like, glaring on you. Anyway, 
So here are little gears. So, so cool. Little key on there. Here's some more of the Junkin' Gems that are loose. I love this color. Not everything I have has to be purple. That's my favorite color, of course, but I totally love crafting in all these different beautiful tones as well. Really gorgeous piece of uh, bling, some pearl, a pearl cluster there. Really cute. Oh, I like this one. I don't have one like that, so that's really pretty. Really, really cute. Another one of the birds. I'm definitely going to be able to rack out some of these birds. Even though I'd love to hoard them all, I'm, I want to share the Marion Smith love. So, really large resin flower there. Super cute. I like these ones a lot. I think I'm going to play with these and put some of my alcohol inks on there to make them a, a couple different colors since they're six. Uh, these are funny. They're little mustaches. How cute. I should use one for my husband for a Father's Day card. That's super cute. And, oh, these are gorgeous. These look like jewelry pieces. My grandma's costume jewelry, like earrings and stuff. Those are really gorgeous. And another bird, which is awesome. And this is an empty pack. I think something was in it, but it fell out. I don't know what it was, but it doesn't matter because I have t a ton of stuff. So let's we'll see what's in here. This says stash journal cards. And this is what's inside. So you can see that. I love that. And this is... Um, I have the stamps that go with this collection actually, but they're up in my stamp section, so I won't go grab those. Open this really quickly because I want to take a peek at these. I use um, a lot of her stamps like in my planners and stuff too, so. Well, this is tape. I'm not going to be able to get them open, but you guys can see. You guys kind of have an idea. You know what? I'm just going to cut it. It's just a glossing bag, Abby. You have a ton of your own, so you don't need to worry about it. I always try to reuse things if I can, and I clearly can still reuse that even though I cut it. It just makes it a little bit smaller is all. I just wanted to show you guys her beautiful papers and her paper lines that she does. I just love it. It's really nice, thick card stock and double-sided, so you get, you know, you bang for your buck here, because if you don't like the front one, or if you have doubles like this one, here's two, and I always get a dilemma, like, gosh, I love this side, I totally can use both, because I have more than one. These would be great to cut down and put in, like, pocket letters, too, so, eight or some really fun ATC cards. Really, really fun. And this is super cute. I'm all about stuff being creative packaging. Love it. So, this is just some, um, like, jute twine. Looks like maybe it's from Maya Road, because I have a big spool of this. This looks really similar to that. Um, correct me if I'm wrong if anybody's watching and you're like, no, it's not. It looks exactly like what I have, but it could be from somewhere else. Really cool chipboard tree. I think I'll save this for this uh, coming winter to use it on some holiday projects for my house. And just all kind of really cool ephemera, or however you say it. I've heard it's pronounced ephemera, ephemera, however you want to say it. This is like those little old coin envelopes. And just a couple pages from an old book, which is awesome because I love to get old books and alter them for various projects. And this is some really fun, uh, this is some Recollections cardstock here. It's got the sticker on it, but it's punched out in such a way that you could make a little flip book or a little more, a mini journal. Um, you could do that, or you could clearly just take one piece, put a really cool photo, add all these embellishments, and make an awesome panel that you could you know, close pin on a piece of wire in your um, house. I have a really cool um, old window. It's got uh, nine panes in it, but the glass is gone. And I have wire strung across it, and that'd be really cute to do that. So I will do a video showing that to you guys in case you're like, what are you talking about? So here are some doilies. Always fun to have doilies. Love the white because I can always use my Color Lab sprays to alter the doilies, which is what I just recently did. Totally pleased with this stuff. Love it. And here's another bag of some beautiful goodies. You guys can kind of see through the bag there. But I am going to dump these into the next one as well. Just so we can take a better peek. And I haven't taken the sticker off of that yet, so ignore that. One more crinkly package. Just a second. Okay. I'll get these all dumped in. Oops, I should have dumped it upside down so it didn't stick. So you guys can take a peek at all the beautiful goodness in here. All these different junk and gems from her. Just gorgeous. Um, here's some of those ones I told you um, that I was going to use my alcohol inks on. If you can hear that. It's like some kind of meshing over top of that um, embellishment. It's really, really cool. It gives us a really cool texture. And here's a couple more of those mustaches. Super cute. I love that. I can make a card for my husband's stepdad too. My father, unfortunately, has passed away, so I don't get to make him a card anymore. Um, and then, this is really pretty. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be sad. I was just explaining why I didn't mention my own dad, in case you were wondering. That's why. 
It's just some really pretty embellishments. I just love these things. They're just gorgeous. And there's so many in here. Ooh, it's even these little, little tiny ones too. These are super cute. Kind of match my nail polish this time. Super beautiful. Just love that. So these are going to be awesome to use. And I'm going to show you guys something really quickly. Um, I have this dresser that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And I'll try to take a picture and insert it in here to show you guys. It's an ombre I did. I can't show you because it'll tip everything out because it's like tall. But anyway, I have, this is one of the drawers from that dresser. So I've already purchased some of her junk and gems and I've used a lot of them already. So I'm super excited to have this much to put back into my stash. So I'm at 10 minutes. It's a little bit over. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and I'll come back with my Marion Smith Warehouse Box um, Haul Video Unboxing Part 2 in just a minute. See you soon.